So I'm making my own game in Unreal Engine 5, and in this video, I'm going to share all the details with you. So this game is a simulator game, and I've named it Art Gallery Simulator. I just launched the Steam page today for it, the store page. It's in alpha. It's not going to be done for at least another two to three months, uh, but I've got it in an alpha state where it's playable. There's a game loop. Uh, all that, but it's going to be a lot more detailed than what you'll see on this. And I'll, I'll link the store page in the description. If you want to help me out, just go to the store page and just wish list it. You don't even have to buy it right now, or you can't you can't buy it right now. But you don't have to buy it when it comes out. Just just add to the wish list, and it just it just helps. Okay. Uh, but either way, this is Art Gallery Simulator. It's still got a lot of placeholder assets, a lot of like free assets that'll be replaced later and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is the store page. It's basically you're going to run your own art gallery. Uh, it's going to make any of those other simulator games like Gas Station Simulator or uh, any of those ones. What was it? There was a Weed Shop Simulator. That was one. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you're going to run your own art gallery. You're going to slowly upgrade and stuff. Uh, the actual final game loop when I get it done is going to be that you'll start off in like the slums and you'll have like a really run down art gallery. And then uh, once you get enough money, you work your way up and stuff, then you will... Uh, be able to purchase an art gallery in like the middle class section a better one with you know higher what customers with who have more money on average and stuff and be able to sell higher valued paintings and arts sculptures and different things um and then eventually if i get to develop it as much as i want to which i hope i do uh then i'll have a third area which will be like the downtown commercial city district you know with skyscrapers and things and there you'll be able to get your own art museum. And at that point, the game can change to where you're actually making money off of admissions instead of directly selling the art. And if I make it the way I want, ideally, it's going to be like the uh, you'll still have the other two, but there'll be a way to reduce the micromanagement of them once you get more money towards the end, like hiring employees or something. Right. I'll, I'll have to figure it out as we get further through development. It's still just like the very beginning of alpha for this game. But I do plan to add a lot more features and stuff as much as I can in the time allotted. I, I put a release date of March 24th. You can see that right here. Uh, that'll probably get changed. It, just because Hogwarts Legacy is coming out, that's going to delay me by a few weeks. Uh, but I'll probably end up delaying it till April. But it'd be cool if I get done in March. I mean, I'm actually, turns out I'm really fast at making games. Like, I can actually make a ton of stuff really fast. But... I don't know if March is going to be enough time. We'll probably end up delaying that to April. Uh, but I'm also going to make a Kickstarter page. So I haven't made that yet, but I'll make a video uh, talking about it once I do. Uh, if any of you want to get the game half off by supporting me on a Kickstarter or any other, just want to support me in general, the incentive or the game. If you really want to play the game, you want to see it happen. Any money from the Kickstarter, generally speaking, is going to be going towards paying other people to help me make the game. Uh, but that's a whole other video. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video, hopefully. But also, any of you who are newer to game development or don't anything about it, uh, I want to show you some of the cool behind-the-scenes stuff. So this is Unreal Engine 5. Um, I, there's so much that I could unpack that I'm not going to bother unpacking. But I'm thinking about making like game dev update videos about this game and stuff in the future. I'm not sure if I'll do that in this channel or another channel. Let me know what you think if I should do it on this channel or have a second channel dedicated to game development topics instead of just actual games themselves topics. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, so je like this is the uh, editor, the Unreal 5 editor. Uh, this is the world right now. This is the first, this is the second level. This is not the slums. This is going to be the middle. We start a middle class. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty straightforward stuff. Like Unreal Engine 5 is pretty cool. Like we have this really neat stuff like uh, these lights, for example. They have, um, like we have lights from the lights. There's luminol stuff. So like they have their own lights. It all ref like is dynamic and stuff. There's a day-night cycle that I added. And you'll actually see the shadows slowly transition and then eventually become dark, which is really cool in my opinion. And another thing that I really want to add by the end of this is so these trees, uh, I have a friend who's helping me make this. He's volunteering work right now. I'd love to pay him. That's why I'm doing the Kickstarter. But um, one of the things that he made in these trees and everything's going to take a little while on this because I'm doing this on my backup computer right now because that's where my camera's attached to. Uh, but he made uh, this custom material, for example. And uh, there's so many cool things you can do in Unreal Engine, guys. All right, so he made this custom variable, and we can actually turn it from green to fall, like brown, whatever color you want to call it, red, uh, over time. So then because he did that, I can grab that in what's called like a blueprint, and then I can do it where it's based off the day cycle. So ideally, I want to have it where there's spring, spring, summer, fall, and then winter. And then you'll see the leaves change colors and then fall off and it'll get snowy as you play. Maybe like 10 day cycles, something like that. I'll probably have the game be like, you know 10 day per season and i'm probably going to do it to where um but you see like they turn green i can go here and if i pop this out real fast go back to this you can watch in real time has to reload them as i do it though but 
Hold on. It's, it doesn't want to go. Well, we'll just do... There we go. Yeah, you can see me in the background. Turn, I can turn them green, brown, whatever. But yeah, I'll probably have the game of the day-night cycle. And after a certain time, the shop closes up. You got to go back to your apartment or whatever. Sleep. Kind of like if anyone ever played Harvest Moon. Kind of kind of go for like that feel. Now, I can't show you a whole lot on here, like I said, because I'm playing on this uh, my backup PC right now. But uh, that has like my older graphics card. But there's a lot I would like to show you. I'll see if I can real fast. So first off, these are blueprints. If you don't know how Unreal Engine 5 works, you don't have to write code. You just do like these things, get all these actors, do a for each loop, set them hidden in game, whatever. I have like, like this is my main game loop. This is not the right way to build the comments. I'm sure there's people who actually could lose their minds looking at this without comments and things. But since I'm the only one making it, it's fine. I know where everything's at. I know how it all ties together. It's not very hard for me to sift through it. Uh, if I had other people working on the code with me though, I'd have to do stuff like this where I comment it and stuff. But that's like nitty gritty stuff you guys don't need to know. But yeah, there's all sorts of cool things. So like how many NPCs spawn is uh, over in here. And then, oh, it's all scaled differently. There we go. Scaled differently in this computer. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, is the NPC count greater or less than this? If so, do this. If not, stop spawning, blah, blah, blah. How often do we spawn? Why do we spawn? How do we despawn and stuff like that? Uh, the day night cycle, every, like, however, every, what I think is like a fourth of a second or something like that. And then get the time and then add to it and just keep on doing that. If the time's less than this, then do this. If it's more than this, it's crazy stuff. I actually have so much fun making these blueprints though. Like it, it's actually crazy. And this is just one blueprint. Like I have a whole content folder with like, like 50 to a hundred of these. Some of them only have like maybe five to 20 nodes. That's other ones have like a hundred plus. So I've, I've done like easily over 10,000 blueprint like nodes on the blueprints already like just to get the alpha going uh but it's really fun guys i actually have so much fun making this stuff now i don't know if this computer can actually handle with this old graphics card i threw into it. i don't know if it can handle uh playing the game but we're going to turn up the day night cycle to uh 10 times faster so that way you guys can actually see the day night change and then i'm going to see if it will play um which it might not because i did this i did install something here hold on let's see all right, so I skipped some of the menus and stuff. Like, there's menus. I made a new character and all this stuff. And I have the speed turned up so you can actually watch these shadows. Uh, but normally, this would not happen this fast. Because actually, if you put, it would go this fast, it'll just obliterate your graphics card unless you have, like, a 3000 series or something. So I had to make the day-night cycles, like, 12 minutes. But yeah, you can see there goes the sun. is setting. And I have this code to where then the lights will start kicking on randomly. So that way, like, real life, uh, this will look better on a 12-minute cycle, though. Like, <laughs> this will be happening as a lot of things are as the sun's going down but yeah so i have it set so like every little bit they just pop on and stuff also you have to ignore those debug texts over there i just i still am making the game so i've debugged stuff all over the place but but yeah so these lights and this is with the graphic settings on high and medium obviously like when i launch this game i'm gonna have a bunch of different settings um but i know which ones matter there's an anti-aliasing one i haven't implemented yet that will make it look like crap but it'll give you like 30 40 extra fps and then these ones if you turn them low will make it look like this but then you suddenly get just massive FPS gains. So like, I'll, I'll have like, I don't know, I'll, I'll set it up good for you guys. So if this comes, when this comes out, if you guys actually buy it, you know, it'll actually play good. Um, but everything's all scrunched weird right now in this monitor and things, but yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to show off that cool day night cycle thing where it's like you get down to uh, nighttime and the lights start turning on. And then once it goes to daytime, they all start turning off and stuff. But that's just one, that's just like the tip of the iceberg guys. Like I have so many features for this game that I am uh, planning on adding before I launch it and uh, I'm just super excited about it guys I've been wanting to make games for so long I literally I was I was when I was 18 I was I went to college to get a degree in computer programming so I could make games and I was like I'm gonna make mobile games and this was a back when like I don't think Angry Birds even existed yet when I went to college to make games uh, but things happened and I you know got depressed and all this stuff you know so I, I didn't making I didn't end up making mobile games boy what a mistake that was I'd be like a millionaire right now if I made mobile games before Angry Birds even existed <laughs> anyway uh but yeah so it doesn't matter though like right now I'm just getting back into I really want to start making games on top of making YouTube videos and I just have so much fun making them it's been such a nice change of pace with work um but yeah so that's art gallery simulator uh, again, I, the store page is live now. I'll, the link to that will be in the description of this video below the first paragraph. Uh, if you want to help me out, um, just go ahead and go to that store page and wishlist it. Again, you don't have to buy it. You can just wishlist it, and then it comes out. You do whatever you want to do. Um, but then if you if it actually looks good to you and stuff, and you think this is the type of game you really want to play and see it fleshed out and then play it, then, you know, obviously wishlist it then and, you know, just stay in, you know, in the loop, join the Discord, whatever, and, and keep up with me because I'll be posting a video sometime in the future about a kickstarter campaign i want to start to help fund this and also to have things like there's something if i get to making the kickstarter 
uh, I want to have a thing, an option where it's like some absurd option, right? Like Kickstarter with $500 and I'll put your name, I'll make a character about you in the game with some random event in the game or something, right? Like something fun. I'll, I'll see what else I can come up with. But, um, but yeah, that's the state of the game. Again, it is like barely an alpha. Like it's not pre-alpha anymore. It's got a game loop. It works. But it is, I mean, I still have six characters as the NPCs that walk around and stuff. Like, there's so many things that need to change still and be upgraded and stuff. But I just needed to get, like, the uh, foundation laid out. It took so long. You guys have no idea the blueprints. Like, you never guess some of the things, like, the hardest things that I've come across. You think, like, oh, you know, making art, placing art, whatever, all these things. That would, no, that's going to be easy. But, like, the hardest thing, the checkout line. My god, the checkout line was such a bastard, and it's still not done, and I've still got to, like, I got to just rebuild it, because the way the way I implemented it, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work good. Like, I just got to delete the whole, I got to like, try to reintegrate it, rebuild a whole brand new system for that, for example. But, um, yeah, there's just stupid, like, menus, menus are terrible. They, like, they, it's not that they're that hard, they're just so time-consuming, guys. Like, making that settings menu literally took, like, two days. Although, to be fair... You know, that was at the start of development when I only knew a certain amount. Like, I, I did mess with Unreal Engine back last summer. So I learned, like, how everything works. I learned so much. But then uh, there's still a lot I have yet had yet to learn. I still have a lot yet to learn even now. Like, I know there's this one Polish kid I hire when I have a serious problem. I haven't hired him in almost at all. But uh, but whenever I did back with the last game I tried to develop last summer secretly, um, you know, if I knew as much as him, oh, my God, this thing would get done even faster. Like, it's crazy. But... Uh, I'm actually really good at this stuff. It's crazy. So, like, I'm going fast as lightning making this game. So, I just got to, like, take a little hiatus real fast to uh, do a little bit of dark and darker videos and then do a bunch of Hogwarts Legacy videos because I got to pay for development somehow, guys. So, uh, unfortunately, I got to stop making YouTube videos for a little while. Uh, and then once that starts to die down, then there's no big games coming out that I'm aware of. So, then I'll just spend most of my time making um, making that game more. And then, you know, hopefully I'll make enough money from my videos in... February that I'll be able to just go full in on development for like a month or two and then hopefully we'll make the game guys and then uh yeah we'll play our gallery simulator. I think it's gonna be a really good game I mean I would love to play it once it's made I probably won't want to play it when it's made because I'll have made it and I'll literally know how everything works and I'll have like tested it a trillion times but if someone else made it and they gave me a copy and I have free time I'd be like hell yeah let's play this man it's really cool uh but anyway that's the game, Argyle Simulator. Again, if you want to help me out, go description, uh, link in the description. Go to the store page. Just wishlist it. You don't have to buy it if you wishlist it. It just tells you when it comes out. Um, and again, you feel free to join any of my socials, Discord, or Discord's my main thing. If any of you guys ever want to keep up with me and stuff, uh, that's where I post most things and just chatter with people who. Almost, it's a pretty dead Discord. People don't chat very much in it. But when they do, when they do, I see it. I'm the all-seeing eye in that Discord. I, I I read every message, believe it or not. But anyway. Uh, that's it, guys. That's the game development. That's what's going on. Making a game. I'm going to be posting the trailer for it after this video. Some point, maybe like an hour or two after this video or something like that. I'm going to let that sit till tomorrow when I post my Dark and Darker videos. Um, but yeah, so check it out, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys will support. And if not, that's fine, too. I hope you guys enjoy the game when it comes out. But yeah, that's Art Gallery Simulator. That's what I'm up to. And yeah, making a game in Unreal Engine 5.